fabrication of an auxetic structure using soft lithography. This topic is based on the fabrication of nano and micro materials, displaying some interesting properties based on the structures of these materials rather than their compositions. But before delving further into this topic, let's first try to understand a few fundamental mechanical properties which will help us to get a complete idea about this process. The first property we're going to discuss is Poisson's ratio. Consider a rectangular block made up of a conventional material. When we apply force in the longitudinal direction, as a result, it will elongate in the direction of the applied force, but it will contract in the lateral direction. Due to this, we observe the dimensional change in both the lateral as well as the longitudinal direction. Based on this, we can define Poisson's ratio as the ratio of the lateral contraction strain to the longitudinal strain. Now you might be thinking, what is strain? Well, strain, which is denoted by the Greek letter epsilon, is the ratio of change in length to the original length. Combining these two definitions, we can derive the formula for the Poisson's ratio, which is denoted by the Greek letter mu, and is equal to the ratio of negative lateral strain to longitudinal strain. In other words, this is the ratio of the change in the original dimension in the y direction to the change in the dimension to the original dimension in the x direction. But why is Poisson's ratio negative? This is because longitudinal and lateral strain are opposite in direction. Due to this, the overall Poisson's ratio becomes positive for the conventional materials. Here you can see the behavior of our conventional material having positive Poisson's ratio. But did you know that some materials can have a negative Poisson's ratio? Let us again consider a rectangular block. If we pull this block in the longitudinal direction, unlike the conventional materials, it will expand both in the lateral as well as the longitudinal direction. Materials having negative Poisson's ratio expand in the unstressed direction under uniaxial stretching. These kinds of materials and structures are known as auxetics and sometimes also referred to as metamaterials. These materials possess improved mechanical properties which can't be observed in conventional materials. Here you can see that when a bow tie structure is pulled in the longitudinal direction, it is expanding the lateral direction too. Isn't that cool? But how can we fabricate these kinds of structures? There are multiple ways to do this, but we're going to focus on the combination of two optical means of making auxetic structures. The first process is photolithography. This word is comprised of three different Greek words. Photo, which means light, litho, which means stone, and graphy, which means writing. As the name suggests, the process uses light to transfer a pattern onto a surface with the help of a photo mask and a photoresist. Photo mask is an opaque film containing the defined pattern which allows light to pass through it onto a surface. And a photoresist can be defined as a light sensitive resist which changes the solubility when exposed to light. Here are two types of photoresists. Positive photoresists become more soluble when exposed to light, while negative photoresists become more insoluble when exposed to light. The main procedure of photolithography includes photo mask preparation and then replacing the pattern onto a wafer. But what's the second process? Let's find out. Soft lithography. We use an elastomeric material called polydimethylsiloxane, which is a silicon-based organic hydrophobic polymer, which is very soft in nature. After getting the master pattern from the photolithography process, we simply pour the PDMS onto a mold to get the negative pattern of the structure. Using this negative pattern, we can get the desired bow tie structure. Let's have a closer look at the fabrication process. Here you can see four different windows displaying video of the photolithography process. This machine cannot be operated under visible light because it will facilitate in the cross-linking of the SU8 resin while under white light. Just to get a clear idea about the working of the equipment, we've included a demo video. You'll be able to see the laser light which is being used to make the pattern on the silicon wafer. Now we can get a desired pattern onto the silicon wafer. Because these structures are on the micron scale, they're very difficult to observe with the naked eye. But you can see the images of two different magnifications from the scanning electron microscope, which clearly show the desired bow tie structures on a silicon wafer. Once we get the structure on the silicon wafer, we use it as a master pattern to create a PDMS mold. Due to the micro scaling, we've taken the optical images of the final structure that we fabricated using the soft lithography process. Soft lithography is an emerging field used for the fabrication of metamaterials. These materials exhibit properties that are not readily found in nature. 
Thus, these engineered materials can be helpful in the field of biotechnologies, plastic electronics, microelectromechanical systems, and more. Although these applications are progressing at a rapid pace, there are still many obstacles that are yet to be resolved, and soft lithography might help in overcoming some of these challenges.